Hi everyone, it's me again, Jolene, with Esther, our natural path from SOL. So today Esther is going to show us on juicing. Uh, she's going to mm -hmm. share how to make a juice that would be very good for your heart. Okay, and this uh, juice name is called Healthy Heart Beat. And this beet is the beetroot um, juice and um, it's very good for the heart. And um, today we're going to use a slow juicer. Okay. Mm. Um, Esther, there's a lot of different juicer ranging from different prices outside. Yeah. Which okay. one should I get? Um, in fact, why use, um, we compare the slow juicer and the normal mm -hmm. juicer. Okay, slow juicer because that it is uh, slowly juicing out the, the fruit juices mm -hmm. or the vegetable juices. So the enzymes are still intact. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times you want these raw vegetables and fruit is because that you want to get the enzymes. And what's the compare to those uh, juicer, which is like very um, the fast ones, and quick, yeah. and because that the motor is running very fast, and mm -hmm. there's a heat, and the heat will actually destroy the uh -huh. enzymes in the fruits and vegetables. So the enzymes level in this kind of juices will be lesser. Uh -huh. And also, um, with this kind of a slow juicer, you can retain the healthy properties in the fruits or the vegetables itself. So that's why we call it a slow juicer a because slow juicer. it's slowly um, um, juicing out the, um, ah, the, the, the nutrients yeah. inside. And a lot of time when you see it, um, the juice come out and the other part you will see that all the fibers are yeah. out. Yeah. I will strongly advise you not to throw this fiber out. You can actually add it back into the juice ah. because the fibers are very good in order for your bowel movements ah. and also they are very high in fibers. Ooh. So um, in, in case that you want to get this kind of juicer, and make, just make sure that inside the strainer you get the uh, coarse type. Of okay. course, that means that there are more fibers going through out into the juice okay. rather than using the fine one because fine you just mainly get the uh, fructose uh -huh. or some of the water inside the vegetables. Mm -hmm. But I would love the uh, combinations of fibers mm -hmm. and the vitamins to be okay. juicing out. Okay. Yeah. Esther, okay. when should when is the best time for us to take juice? Juice you can do it in the morning to mm -hmm. empty stomach. Um, that is if you don't have any issues with the uh, stomach acid mm -hmm. and also gastric. Mm -hmm. So um, if you have this um, gastric, then what you can do is just remove the lemon first mm -hmm. and more um, using on the orange or the um, apples. Apples will be good, pear will be mm -hmm. good as the base of the juice. Wow. So or else you can normally fruit, fruit juices and vegetable juices, you normally uh, take it empty stomach so that the nutrients are very easy to be absorbed. Try not to take it after your meal or with meal because you will be have, having too much of uh, food which is need to be digested. Ah, so it's better to take it in this summer. Okay. okay. So, so today's uh, what we have is um, carrots. We have two sticks of carrots. Mm -hmm. Carrots is very high in um, vitamin um, A mm -hmm. and also it's very good um, in terms of for the heart as well because okay. um, there's also a lot of vitamin C. Okay, you also have a uh, beet here, which is the main ingredient. You can you can have one medium beet root here, and this beet root it, it has a very high content of nitrates. And what's this nitrate doing? This nitrate is to help you to widen up the blood vessels, so that it will helps you to reduce your blood pressure, and also um, the circulations can be better. So people with heart problems, beet root is actually very good. Very good. Source of fruit. Yes, a uh, very good um, vegetables in uh -huh. order to. To get the more nutrients for your blood circulation to get better. So for those people who have a lot of um, um, that the body is always on the cool side. So what you normally can do is you can add uh, a knot of ginger. Mm -hmm. Ginger is um, anti-inflammation, yeah. so it will helps you to reduce the inflammation in the mm -hmm. body. And at the same time, because ginger is a warm property, mm -hmm. it will help you to warm up the whole juice. Yeah. Yeah. So the next one, I have a, a two gloves of um, garlic here. The garlic will be able to help you to uh, reduce the clotting, mm -hmm. which is um, a lot of people will have skinners on the blood. Uh -huh. So this one, the garlic, you can have a little bit more if you can tolerate okay. with um, the garlic. So or else you can have two or three gloves is more than enough. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then I'll have a lemon. The lemon is very high in antioxidants, high in vitamin C. So it's a it's basically a very good um, heart protective properties uh -huh. there. And last but not least is the cucumber. Uh -huh. As I mentioned before, um, cucumber is an anti-hypertensive. Uh -huh. It will help you to uh, reduce the blood pressure as well. Okay. So um, for those people who already have high, high uh, low blood pressure, you can just take it out. And uh -huh. you can replace it with maybe apples or maybe some other uh, vegetables. You can also use um, green leafy in mm -hmm. order to replace it. You can use like for example like spinach. Uh -huh. This fish is okay. very nice. 
or else you can have those uh, leafy greens in order to like celery. This. Yes, you can do that. Um, celery is reducing your blood pressure. If you have a blood pressure issue, which means that you are hypo, mm-hmm. um, hyper, hypotensive, that means that your blood pressure is a bit low. Yeah. Then you don't use cucumber and celery. Ah, uh, yes. I see. Uh, some people, if they can really tolerate, bitter gourd is another good source. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay so shall we start? Yes. Okay. So we just on it. So what you have to do is uh, just put all this. And you can see the um, fiber coming out at one side and the juice at the other side. Coming out very nicely. The sequence doesn't matter. It's okay as long as um, the, the vegetables and roots are going through nicely. I see. Yeah. You see that um, very well the red color is mm-hmm. coming along. And we always say that red color relates to the heart. Yeah. So any food which is in red color is actually beneficial to the heart. So like say red dragon fruit yes. and apples yes. yes. are good. Yes, they are good. And another thing is um, trying to balance your juices with a lot of vegetables rather than just uh, juices, uh, the fruits uh, itself. Okay. So that's why you add yeah. the cucumbers. Uh, cucumbers. Uh, and also um, I have some carrots here. Okay. So for those people who can stand a little bit on the um, vegetables, add a little bit more, it will be definitely helpful to, to the hearts. So I think it's more than enough there. Okay. So this, that's it. Oh, okay. So easy. Yeah, it's a very... Um, You can see that um, we have fiber inside. Mm-hmm. Oh, looks nice. Okay, um, okay, that's another cup here. Yeah. So we just pour it up. And you see that there's a lot of fiber inside. Yeah. This will definitely help in your bowel movements okay. and also you the fiber. Well. That's fine. Yeah. You can try it. Okay, let's try this. It's a little bit um, spicy because of the garlic the, and the, the ginger, ginger. ginger. Mm-hmm. but I think it doesn't. It's not overly spicy with the uh, mixture of carrot and beetroot. It brings it a little bit sweet as well. Yes. So I think it's a balance. Mm-hmm. It's um, for kids probably um, you might need to okay. add a little bit more sweet air mm-hmm. because this juice is basically for those who have heart condition mm-hmm. or who wants to protect the heart. Yep. So I would advise this for adult only. Adult only. For, for children, there will be definitely children's uh, juice. Uh-huh. That is, uh, you can just put a little bit more on the, the pears mm-hmm. and the apples, which is for the sweet taste. Yeah. So um, no ginger, no garlic for that. I see. So this is definitely for adults. Okay. So for adult, I would think that this is pretty good taste mm-hmm. and it's easy to make. So yeah. So any questions? Um, again, give us a call, email us, or come to our center. Okay. See you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.